Aloha, dear sweet family of light. It's me, Lisa Tunson. It's Brown. And I'm going to do my energy report. We kind of can't do these hardly anymore because there's so much all over the place. And the more we expand in light, the more dimensions we can see. Uh, the more realities, the more timelines, uh, the more, the more, the more. Now, what's true in one dimension isn't true in the next one. What's true in those two isn't true in the in another one. And so when you can start seeing the different layers and the different um, how everything works, then what's true for the human aspect that still exists predominantly in an unconscious dimension if you will, and for the light being who has been working on their journey for a while, the awakening soul, the higher self aspect, the multidimensional self, all of these things, same thing, different versions of the spectrum, if you will. What happens is that truths change, and the more light you hold, if you will, uh, the more Truths are very different here. Now, what is true for the unconscious reality is normally the opposite of what's true for the conscious reality. So the more conscious you are, the more it's completely different. And things couldn't be further from the truth of what we thought things were. So doing these energy reports, you either have to talk to each dimensional reality, each timeline, uh, each vibrational um, realm of consciousness in order to encapsulate uh, everything that can occur or you pick a theme and you go with it and you know what everything is always going to be true because there's always something going on in every dimension and it really doesn't matter what we say if you will um, now there are usually certain themes and a lot of times we'll wake up and we we see the theme of what's coming because everything is vibrational. And when you exist as a vibrational being, again, um, connected with the energy of all things, again, hear, see, feel, um, it's how you function, it's how you exist. Um, utilizing all of your senses and your awareness and your realizations, um, your energy expands from the inside out. And at first we have to wake up and that little light has to come on and each time we do certain things it comes on more we have more light we see more of our and we use the word for the sake of describing darkness uh, which is eventually along the way it's no longer darkness it's just our old programs it's just our illusions it's just our density physical body density um, because physical matter starts to change form um, as we hold light our bodies start to change our whole physical reality starts to change now, it's always been changing. The difference is we didn't know that's what that was. We didn't understand it. And that's why um, we all are here to share knowledge um, in order to assist and guide. Is because with knowledge, you have everything you need. With that higher wisdom, um, you understand how everything works. And it gets a whole lot easier. Um, the more light you hold, the easier it becomes. It's just energy. Um, the physical world starts aligning in response to you because you are transmitting intentionally everything. Everything you desire, everything um, that assists and guides and helps. You're contributing. You're being an important part um, of transformation. You are, you're all in. You give it all you got. You're dedicated. Uh, you become love again. You become light again. It's not words you run around speaking anymore. It's your existence. It's, it's how you function. Um, and yes, the roosters are always on a rampage here. So they're part of uh, what we love here on Kauai. Okay. The theme is always going to be more. It's going to be more and more and more and more. We're always going to be deeper. We're always going to be deeper into our core. We're always going to be bringing more up. We're always going to be seeing more. We're always going to be understanding what we didn't understand the nanosecond before. 
The cool part is through that understanding, more amazing and magical things start to occur because as you embody light, you start bringing forth the higher realms from inside your body and your physical reality outside starts to appear and become visible. All the things you couldn't see, those other dimensions, all of a sudden they're all around you and it's magnificent and it's beautiful and it's amazing. Um, understanding the reasons for why things have to occur and the reason I say have to occur is because they do have to occur to get our heart open they have to occur to open our mind they have to occur so that we can see and understand because that's the veils of amnesia that's the veils of unconsciousness that's the old matrix that we held inside our body everything's in your physical body everything's in your energy field and every time your heart opens you bring in that which just floats around you waiting everything you every time you take command of your reality from your heart and say no not in my world anymore I'm not going to participate in that I'm not playing that game I'm not doing the drama I'm not allowing that you actually one tell your universe which is you yep I'm ready bring on the next awesome amazing thing um, but as humans we fear doing these things as humans we don't understand. As humans, we avoid, we run, uh, we, we hide, we do all of these things, and none of those things are necessary. Not only are they not necessary, there are blocks. They're what causes our realities to go sideways. With photonic light, you start quantum jumping, quantum hopping, quantum sliding, moving from reality to the next. And, and I don't mean little ones, because in the beginning, they're little ones. You're like, oh, cool, and you can just shift timelines just by shifting your vibration. But then they become huge ones because you just go to sleep, you activate a whole lot of light, you make some tweaks in your reality, you go to sleep, and your body upgrades profusely 24 hours a day, but when you sleep, you integrate. And, and as you do this, you can jump timelines. Uh, I've jumped two, two years in less than five minutes. Um, I've jumped three years in, in less than a couple minutes. Um, the thing about that, though, and this is where I called quantum hopping, is that when you timeline jump, jump, big ones, then your realities will start collapsing around you and things will speed up really fast. And you'll have to deal with them. Boom, boom, boom. Move it up and out. Get through it. Get it out of your world. It it's, it's, mm, starts to create a discomfort. Um, and it's like coming in for a really harsh landing and going, oh, no, these 12,000 things aren't done. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. And you got to do them all right then because your physical reality will start to push you really hard uh, because you've moved into a different reality and you don't understand that's what happened um, because awesome things are waiting to come forth. So here we deal with everything in the moment. Here we deal with it right then. We move it up and out. We identify the vibration of everything that's going on and we figure out is that something I really want in my world is it not something uh, would I really not ex rather experience this is this contributing is this benefiting is this helping is this balance is this um, support is this in harmony this is this in tune is this part of uh, creating abundance for everybody or is it, it distracting and is it interfering with a process of unity and love and what you start to understand is that everything, absolutely everything, is a part of your awakening, ascension, remembering, consciousness. Um, there is not one thing that happens in your body. There is not one thing that happens in your world. There is not one thing in every moment that is not this. So when people asked me the other day, somebody said uh, something about what symptoms should I look for? Well, technically, you're not looking for a symptom. That's human explanation for something's wrong or a cause. You're paying attention to everything. You're paying attention to everything and going, wow, that's a part of this. Wow, that's a part of this, too. That pain in my knee, that's a part of this. That person, whatever they just said, that's a part of this. This conversation, this thing I'm doing today, that's a part of this. Because when you start identifying that everything is a part of this and that it's all up to you, um, you're going to start realizing that you hold a vast responsibility. You're being in service 
your being a, a integral part of this very important process of the entire uh, process of ascension and re-evolution back for all of humanity here into the New Earth Advanced Human. And um, with your superpowers and all these amazing things, it's totally up to you. So, May's report. It's going to be many things. I know. This is how I work. <laughs> this is how we roll. For some, it's going to be amazing. Um, for others, it's going to be the most challenging time they've ever met. For others, it's going to push them into... Um, Standing in their power because we've hit a we're at a balancing of a huge January I think it was uh, planetary alignment of five and then a couple weeks ago we went through planetary alignment of another five. Thing about it is is the first activation was feminine dominant feminine energy. The second activation was dominant masculine energy, which is why it's been so strong and intense for a lot of people. Um, everybody's being pushed to stand in their power from that place of love you have to exist as love and power all in the same space now um now i will say this it doesn't look pretty a lot of the times when it happens because the more human though around you um the more human ish you have to be and the only reason i say that is because we take energy and we have to meet it with an energy that will break that cycle, break that pattern. Now, if if going to love and 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 just oozing love for someone will get their heart open, that's awesome. That's where we go. But when you meet really strong resistance, and you're in the role as a guide, if you have a contract with somebody to be there to help them wake up. You have to choose in that moment whether you're going to step into your role and be the powerful one and let go of the misperceptions of, of this is about whether we like each other or not. Um, because you love someone, you're going to actually pull that trigger and you're going to help them wake up. You won't be the most popular person, but nobody came here to be popular. Now, thing about it is, is there are times that you just step back. You just let it go. Because you know that it's not productive and, and there's no reason for it. There are times you just plant seeds, you walk away, you, you let them grow on their own. There are times that you just open your heart and, and hug them and love them. And there are times that you step up and say no. And, the, and sometimes the most abrupt response is necessary because that is the only thing that will break the reality. And the reason I say this is because when you start intertwining realities where people work together, live together, um, inner relationships and partnerships and, and, and groups and units and communities and stuff, then everybody's got to be on board. Everybody's got to be working. Everybody's got to be contributing. And if things go sideways, then everybody's got to deal with it. And if there's... If there's anybody that doesn't want to deal with it, then it comes down to somebody has to make the choice. Somebody has to say, no, it's not going to work this way. And we either got to work together and figure it out and open up and communicate, or we're going to have to do a reality separately. And that's what a lot of people are coming to, is realizing that the realities that they entered into previously, they're not working anymore. And the more we jump, the more... Everybody has to jump together or the jumpers, if you will, the light holders have to keep going and let those who aren't quite ready yet do their reality the way they need to. And this is a place of respect. This is a place of knowing that everybody's doing their reality exactly as they need to for them. And this will not conform to anything you ever thought. This will not look like anything. It won't. When you start merging multiple realities all in the same space, when you start anchoring the, the lucid dream in the physical one, when you start merging your aspects, um, things go a completely different way than you ever thought they would. Um, the cool part is it's bizarre, it's amazing, it's mind-blowing, and it's awesome. It's also the most challenging thing you will ever do. 
and it's going to test your sanity. It's going to push you. As a higher self, you're going to do this yourself. You're going to take it on, and you're going to say, okay, I got this. I'm ready. And this is how we do the journey here. So, what's March about? Oops, wrong. May. Ooh, I wonder if that's a, uh, hmm, we might be doing a repeat there. All right. May is going to be more, just like every month coming is going to be. Um, I write every day. Usually, I try. Um, I don't write for me, guys. I write for you guys. Uh, the books, the videos, everything I do, I do for you guys and, and everybody on Earth, just like the rest of us that do this. There's an entire network of people out here, and this is all we do. Now, cool part is everything's awesome and amazing. The physical body has to upgrade. It has to hold light, and anything in it that was dormant and asleep is coming alive. It's coming online. The crystals in your body, the star particles in your body, everything's waking up. And you're going to start feeling more energy, and energy will start to run your show. And the reason being is you are energy. And it will challenge your human reality completely. But you have a whole new reality of amazingness emerging as it does. So trust Trust, trust, know, go to that knowing that you've got, listen, open up, connect. This is the most important thing you'll ever do. And this is what you've been waiting for. This is why you're here. So May is going to be everything. It always is. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be everything. But it's also going to be a lot of letting go of old things and that's going to increase too. old unconscious everything is got to go and if you're hanging on you get drugged through with it so if you can identify what's unconscious within your reality and deal with it then it gets a whole lot easier so honor your body honor you get your sleep for those who are sleeping is the most important part of the process there is for those who are Fully energized, you're supposed to be busy. You're supposed to be contributing. You're supposed to be getting out there. You're supposed to be making a difference and helping people, not from a place of lack, but as your mission, your purpose, um, your role here as a light keeper, as a grid keeper of new earth. Every one of us are anchor points. And, and every time we change in vibration, the hologram changes. It's really cool. And you'll start to see all of these things as your physical body upgrades, your eyes upgrade, you get to physically see. Um, it's not a holographic thing that, that, that is off in the ethers anymore. Um, it starts that way. It starts in your dream state. It starts in um, connecting with the other dimensions uh, energetically. But then it starts appearing in your physical world, uh, which is really awesomely cool. So, May going to be a surprise, just like every moment now is. Open up, embrace the crazy stuff, expect the unexpected, and do like I do. Wake up and say, okay, universe, surprise me, and deal with your realities from a place of love, from a, from a, from a place of inner strength, inner power, and inner connectedness for all things sacred here. I love you guys. Having an awesome and amazing everything, and I'll be seeing you soon. Mahalo.